Mr. Vogel. I appreciate the, the comments of, of council members who've spoken already in, in addressing the crime situation that is happening in our city. And obviously, we've gotten a lot of concern from citizens um, who, who are watching what's happening and, and have concern over. And, and this issue is not something new. You know, some of these things I've been talking about for over three years now. And, and uh, I am pleased to, to hear this discussion we're going to be having. I know we asked the chief a few months ago to come back to us with some more information about implementing um, these, these smaller neighborhood precincts, um, which is something that, uh, that I have always strongly believed in, whether you call it neighborhood policing or community policing, where you have the officers in there on a regular basis where they get to know the people living in the neighborhood and the neighbors get to know the police. You build that level of trust. And, and a part of that is also the town halls. And you have that level of communication, which helps information come in. And it also, not only the residents there know that the police are there, but the criminals know that the police are there. I imagine it would be a, a deterrent to a criminal to know that there's a police office uh, right there in the vicinity of where some of these things are happening. This is not only something that has been done in other localities. This was done in Danville for a number of years, where the 616 is today used to be a police precinct. There used to be these smaller police precincts, and you had that presence. Now, the, the term pop-up precinct is, is, is something that I came up with, but it, it's, it's essentially in concept the same thing as a pop-up retail store in which you create a presence without a significant infrastructural investment, which means you have the police officers there, but it could be done without having an elaborate building. You don't need that. That is not the purpose of it. The purpose is not the building. The purpose is the presence of the officers. And so I look forward to having these discussions. I know council had asked for it, and, and I'm glad to hear that next month we're going to be having it. And, and, and I'm glad that Council is, and I know Councilman Jones isn't here tonight, but he's also expressed his, his support in the past for this. Um, but it's going to take a combination of things. I mean, it's not just a police issue. There's not uh, going to be a, just a police solution to some of these things that are happening. It's a community issue. You need the church programs, programs like Big Brothers, Big Sisters. Having mentors in the lives of people is also important. So it's going to take a combination of efforts. But I do believe that, that we need to be having some discussions about some of these proposals that have been mentioned from from different council members uh, and then